super artists, where we're poor at motivating others, but mostly we're poor at making art. I'm Benj. And I'm Isaac. And today we are talking about motivation. What motivates us, and more importantly, what is going to motivate you by the end of this video? Mm-hmm. Because we are going to draw motivational posters today, everybody. So mm -hmm. The best ones you've ever seen. And the best ones you've ever seen, you know, some people might think that the words of the motivational poster are the most inspiring, motivating part, but that's just not true. It's actually the art that goes with it. Like, you know, a nice picture of a waterfall or, you know, some ducks flying through the air in a triangle or a big, strong mountain that somehow makes you feel strong yourself. So today, we are not going to be coming up with the words. We're going to be coming up with the drawings to go with the motivational words. Mm hmm. So, um, yeah, the words are actually coming from an AI. Because um, so where else do you get your motivation from if not an AI? Yeah, so they're going to be just the weirdest ever. Um, <clears throat> and it, especially the one I picked here for you, Isaac. I, I'm terrified. Um, it's... You should be. <laughs> let's let's just say that. The, the, I mean, like I was going through some of them, you know, uh, picking picking out some of them. I found and... it hard to find the one that was at all motivational because most of them just sound like the AI hates humans. Oh yeah, I th I definitely think this AI hates humans. Like like some of them were just straight out threats. Yep, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. No, this one this one's truly motivational all right like, you're gonna you're gonna motivate some people with this for sure <laughs> let's uh -huh. let's hear what i have to draw today first they plan for you then they treat you <laughs> and then they smell you <laughs> oh, okay that came from a motivational mm -hmm. generator yeah super motivational first they plan for you then they treat you, then they smell you? Yes, then they smell you. And that's supposed to make me feel motivated. Mm-hmm. How? Uh, I, I, what? I don't, I don't understand. It. Like, it's just motivational. Uh, yeah. So, somehow, I have to interpret that into a single drawing. Mm-hmm. You give me three parts. First, they plan for you. Yes. Then they treat you. Mm hmm Then they smell you. Yeah, the, that's the motivational part, I would say. I am not sure that I feel motivated, but, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I'll give yeah. it my best go. <laughs> so, first, they plan for you. Now, the last person I planned for was... Maybe like somebody coming over, like a like a house guest or a, you know, like a, you know, mm -hmm. someone who's coming over for the. Did you also first smell time. them? I I'm I'd rather not say. But yeah, <laughs> don't you smell everybody who comes in your house? Like, on the way in the door, you set up the smelling station and. Not normally. That sounds like something like a dog would do. Oh yeah, that's that's a hundred percent true. Like their way of introducing themselves. Which reminds me, the first thing you need to do really is figure out who they are. Oh, I've already figured that part out. Oh, you've, you already know who they are. You've given me quite a lot to think about over these last few seconds, <laughs> but I think I am finally aware of what I am drawing. So, uh, I'm, look, I'm looking uh, forward to seeing this. Yep, you should be. Mm -hmm. This drawing you're about to do. This drawing that. I have to do. So the only people I know of that would ever care about your smell so much don't come from Earth. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. So they plan for you in different ways. They're like, uh, welcome to our spaceship, Isaac. We've been planning for you. We have a treat for you. And now we'd like to smell you. Mm. You know. Like aliens do. Aliens. In every alien movie, there's a scene where someone's smelling something. Go look it up. <laughs> <laughs> I Go don't, look it up. I, I guarantee. Don't know if that's true. Yep, but it could be. So that's why I said it. It is. 
It's just possible, I guess, that that's true. Mm -hmm. That's all that matters. <laughs> all that matters is that it could be true. Is that a nose? Uh, let's just say yes for the sake of argument. It's, it's like a, a nostril. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. It kind of looks like a nostril. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. Kind of looking like... See, they don't look exactly like nostrils. They, Are these alien nostrils? They're like... Uh, you know, they're like what noses are based on. <laughs> these, <laughs> these, these creatures. These creatures These are creatures noses inspired are actual on? noses. Okay. And they, they have like some... You know, nose hairs. But they also have legs. So like the whole alien is a nose. Yeah. Or like, Except for its legs. Wait, it's facing its legs are facing that way? It's looking to the right. They only have one leg. <laughs> but see, like, I mean I was thinking that that little like loop part was not the tip of the nose, but like the the like side of the nose you know it's it's hard to say like, it looks like you drew half a nose and then put legs if you're on looking it, at it from like the side it's mm -hmm. it's looking to the i don't have to explain well, myself i know what you mean i'm just saying it looks like you're looking at it on the front and you drew half of a nose it's possible that that's what i was going for <laughs> and then you put feet on it it's best not to think about this this one's a different shape. <laughs> it's uh, uglier. As, as all noses are usually different. Shape. Every nose is different. Haven't you read the book? Nope. It's called Every Nose is Different. Sounds like a kid's book that might be made. I'm going to illustrate it once it does get made. I mean, it's also just like a flat out lie. Every nose is different. What are you talking about? Not like... Even that every fingerprint's different is technically a lie. Hey, they are all different noses, I mean. We can draw fingerprints next week. But the point is, there are aliens out there in our universe that look like noses. Yep, I got, I got that. Now to across. get to the planning, treating, and smelling part. Mm -hmm. So uh, they've been planning for someone. So we gotta have like a, you know, like something showing that they were planning. Yep. Mm hmm mm hmm Like like party planning or just like basically like a party. You know. You know how they do. Yep. Aliens, that is. Yeah, they just make a sign that says welcome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Welcome. Just generic. They learned just learned how to speak human, so Mm -hmm. uh, they plan for you. They're gonna they're gonna treat you. Yep. What's what's the treat? Uh, the treat is uh, they have a cake. Mm. Uh, hang so on a second. second part. Yeah. It's... They've lowered the chain here down to where they got their cake. Now, how big are these nose? Like, are they like the size of a nose, or are they like? The yeah. size of a human. No, they're like as big as a person. Okay. And do they have like faces or like... Uh, or is their only scent nose? They just smell and walk. You know, yeah, they don't need eyes. They can smell so well. And they talk through nose whistles? Through... They write letters. With their feet... The hairs coming out of their noses oh, can be like used as, like, tentacles. Uh, like tentacles. Yeah, mm, that's the... too bad. <laughs> Your cake just says for treat <laughs> on it. Well, I mean, you don't want them to get confused, do you? Yeah, you got to know it's a treat. Yeah, exactly. Not, not like a trick. Yeah, I mean, if you see like something dangling out of a UFO, you're gonna worry until you realize it's actually a treat. Mm-hmm. Because it has uh, the word treat on it. First they plan for you. Then they treat you. Then they smell you. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, what else are they going to do? Yeah, I mean, the giant noses. You got to expect that at this point. Is this the uh, the U? Yeah. This is... Oh, if you're drawing another eye, that, that means this face is not facing the way I was expecting. Your your guy looks almost more alien than your nose people. It's because he doesn't have hair yet. Oh uh, yes, because bald people are all aliens, right? Just most of them, especially people who like purposely shave their head like before they actually have to. Mm-hmm. You're like you're like fifteen, and you shaved your head. Mm. Like, you should enjoy that for a little while. Oh, oh, you're an alien? Oh, well, it makes sense now. <laughs> you don't understand our customs. Mm. You'll notice my man is noseless. Yeah. Because that's the planet <laughs> that they chose to visit. <laughs> they came to a nose. They are fascinated by the culture here. Just. Can they just not smell at all? They don't even know the concept. So there's people that, uh, so there's these aliens that only smell, and then these people that don't even know the concept of just understand that this is motivational so what 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 are you feeling right now you feeling motivated uh i'm feeling like i should um uh (laughs) yes yes go on (laughs) um definitely feeling motivated to not go get a treat from an alien oh come on this is like about friendship and about helping those who can't smell like are they gonna just teach them about smell how many what how many, how <laughs> I told many, you this is not how many fingers? this is not a planet that you're aware this of this is like the the feeling planet where they feel everything yeah I guess that's one way to... Why is that? That has so much different the left, than the other hand. <laughs> the left hand on this planet is much different than the right hand on this planet. Mm, yeah, like... Well, I, I'm not a fan of like, that. Like, we're, we're blessed here on Earth to have, like, balanced senses. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, equal, like, smell and taste and sight and hearing. There are, These planets, there's, like... They've only got smell. Mm-hmm. This planet's a little bit more balanced, but they're way into, like, touch. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, you know... I must say, if I had to go to one of these planets, it would it would be the nose planet. <laughs> what? You really want these things uh, smelling you? I'd rather that than those things touching me. Ah, I see. Well, you're mistaken in what you should want. <laughs> oh, is this the, the one smelling it? <laughs> so glad you can interpret what's going on here. Yeah, it, it's it's unfortunate that it somewhat makes sense. He's standing on his head. He's like jumping down from another UFO that you can't quite see. Uh, like the other UFO is like over there. Now you can see it. Mm-hmm. This is not. It's not necess- It's motivating you to like. Well, I'm not going to tell you what it's supposed to motivate you to do. <laughs> Motivational posters don't need explanation. Mm-hmm, that's true. They have a, a saying oh. and a, a, you know. Yeah, you don't need to explain why it's If you have to explain a motivational poster, then it uh, doesn't work. Because then it's clearly the artist motivated. hasn't done their job. Like, sometimes the sayings are just confusing. Like, you know. But then the drawing is what brings it to life. You're like, oh, mm-hmm. I can relate now. I feel better. I can do it. I can, you know, whatever this poster wants me to, to do. That's true. Whatever propaganda for your feelings it's trying to, you know, force on you. It's it's uh, mm-hmm. it's happening. So. Well, I really don't want to look at this guy's hands anymore. <laughs> so you should just write your name on uh, this and get, get, get it off. You know, because that is the one thing I think most motivational posters are missing is uh, the artist's signature. Mm-hmm. How else are you supposed to know the the name and age of the... Yeah, it's not real art, really. It's just a... It's not art until Uh, it has... Oh, you wrote the wrong age. Oh, my gosh. I just had a birthday, Mm -hmm. and I haven't even realized it yet. You're going to let me... I'll let you this this one birthday undo. 
I don't even know what the undo button is on our. Oh, there it is. Yep, age 29 now. <laughs> I'm sure you could tell by how motivated you feel <laughs> by my improved yeah, artwork over this past uh, clearly a year of life. Clearly a 29-year-old drawing and not mm -hmm. a 28-year-old's drawing. Definitely those hands were drawn by a 29-year-old. <laughs> <Yep. laughs> you know how you know? I think there's 29 <laughs> fingers. <laughs> But uh, might be accurate. There's definitely an odd number. I certainly hope that everybody at home and you, Ben, just feel motivated by looking at this. So when you print this out and put this up in your office or your classroom or, you know, right on the bathroom mirror so you can see it every morning, that you will be motivated to do whatever this is supposed to motivate you to do. Yep. So, now I'll get over there and uh, motivate them some more. I can't wait. So unlike your motivational quote that you supplied me with for today mm -hmm. i picked one from the ai that i thought was actually somewhat motivating mm. it still involves some interpretation on your part but uh what you're going to be drawing today is don't forget that you're hyperventilating and remember mm -hmm. to be loved okay see that mm. that could be on like a motivational poster somewhere i don't really know where but it could be yeah, I mean, okay. I guess somewhere. Like a panic room motivational <laughs> poster, you know? Like, like, where, where you're expecting everybody's hyperventilating. Yeah, like everyone is completely like, freaked don't, out. Don't forget, forget that, that you're breathing, but also else. remember that, <laughs> that you're loved. loved. Yeah, it's like it's like every room of the house has one that tells you to be loved, and this is just the, the panic room one. So, good luck. Good luck with this one. Okay, yeah. well... <clears throat> I already got the words there on the bottom now, but the picture here. As I said earlier, the picture is what actually matters because mm -hmm. the picture helps you interpret what this means. Yeah. So <clears throat> this time I'm going to draw and um, we're going to start with the nose uh, because ah, yes. um, we're not drawing the first humans. Who start with the hair? Oh, I thought we you were drawing like a nose, a nose alien, like in mine. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but as you remember from last week, we started with the hair because we were drawing the first humans. Ah, uh, this is not the first human. This though. is not this the is first just every humans. human. Afterwards. This is every other human. So we're drawing. Wow, this is a a very uh, face forward drawing. Yes. Yes, it is. At least it isn't disturbing. Unless you don't put a pupil in the other. Okay. Now the less, uh, yes. well, that pupil got a little away from you, but. No, that's not. That's fine. Are those like tears? Um, crying out of one eye? Well, I mean, like they're going to be hyperventilating <laughs> and you often will have like a tear yeah, okay. as you, as you hyperventilate. Makes sort of sense. Uh, you know, that that's, I think, normal. Not that I've ever actually like hyperventilated. <laughs> is this the mouth of somebody hyperventilating? Well, no, this is like the paper bag. Oh. You know. Uh, do people actually do that? Uh, First of uh, all, you'd have to like find a paper bag. Like, I don't know about you. I haven't had a paper bag since like elementary school lunches were packed for me. Well, I mean, if you like bought things in a paper bag more often. I guess that's probably true. Then you would probably have a paper bag more, more often. You're missing so, quite a few fingers. I just want to point that out. No, I'm not. Like at least half a dozen. Pretty sure, sure I got I got the normal human five here. Mm, okay. And this guy has a nose, so he's not one of your weirdo <laughs> aliens. He's just the hyperventilating loved yeah. person. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna give this guy a fro type of hair, uh, just because that's kind of easier to draw. I would say. Mm. He kind of looks like Beaker from the Muppets right now. You know what? That's true. <laughs> Very accurate. Like 100% just looks like Beaker. It's you don't just, know who Beaker from the Muppets is? It's well, just you're this. looking at him so far, depending yeah. on how Ben Basically. makes the head shaped. But if uh, you don't know, just go look him up. Let's see. We got, we got a, you know, a neck. He's got a neck. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, which does. I gave him a, I gave him a, uh, hand which means he must have an arm <laughs> it would be much more disturbing if there was just a hand attached to the bag 
but um i mean i'm not really planning to draw like a whole body like that's not really the point of no. this it doesn't have to be see the one you gave me had to be like a whole scene with multiple characters and a whole setting i don't think most yeah. motivational posters have that much but when you have like multiple commas in your motivational quote <laughs> yeah when you got when you got you gotta have smelling commas. and planning and treating all in mm -hmm. one drawing so he's hyperventilating but he's gonna have you know a uh a, uh, yeah, like a third eye? No, no, no. This is a uh, one of those fancy smancy thought clouds. Ah. Uh, is he remembering something? Oh, yeah. He's mm -hmm. remembering to be loved. <laughs> he doesn't have to remember to be loved. He has to remember. Oh, no, it is to be loved. Yeah, remember to be loved. Remember to be loved. So he's going to be remembering somebody loving him. It's not even like... It's not even like, remember that someone loves you. It's like, you have to actively go out there and be loved. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. Yeah, remember to, to be, be loved. loved. <laughs> like, yeah. it's, that puts a lot of pressure on you for a motivational poster. Yep. Um, Don't lock yourself this, in the closet. You have to go out there and be loved. This is the this is the hard part, though. Because how do you draw... Don't just hide under your bed while you're hypermetaling. Get out there and be loved. How do you draw being loved? I mean, I know exactly what I would do. Probably. <laughs> I don't, I don't uh, want to draw whatever you're thinking. It would involve noses. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then younger noses. See, what I'm thinking is, what's somebody that loves you more other than your mom? Probably not much. So this guy will be thinking of his mom, Aww. who also has a fro she's one of the first humans that's why i drew her hair first <laughs> it's like a this is like a second generation human <laughs> that's what he is um and she also has a fro she is quite the woman and uh she's like looking she away knows. no no like she so she's looking oh, at I him she was like, in the memory. I thought she was like looking at him out of the thought oh no she, she's like mm. he's like gonna he's in the memory too uh, and then she uh, is talking. It so. occurs to me that maybe there's a reason motivational posters have like a nice photograph of like a bird. She has a really long neck. <laughs> he is a sock puppet. <laughs> <laughs> well, dude, you said he's a Muppet. Well, so. I mean, yeah, she does look much more like a Muppet than he does. So <laughs> This is just how he remembers his mom. The first human Muppets. <laughs> yeah, and then he's down here. He remembers her like that. It's yeah, he's he's down he's down terrifying. here, uh, looking up looking up at her. Yeah, <laughs> did a smaller fro back then. <laughs> hadn't quite come in yet. Nowhere had the rest of his face. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there there he is looking up at her, and she's gonna be saying, "Don't." I don't know that too many. Oh, forget. This is almost touching. Your. You forgot an E. Lunch. Lunch? <laughs> oh, I thought I it was like... E. I thought you were going to say, don't forget you are loved, not don't nope. forget your lunch. And she's going to be handing him a, oh, a paper bag. This is coming full circle. Mm. <laughs> full circle. Every time he hyperventilates, he remembers <laughs> that his mom loves him. <laughs> yep. Oh, my God. Exactly. Then that's uh, that the paper is, bag. That is fantastic. That she's given to him. This could be in the, like, you know, the Muppet motivational calendar. Mm hmm You know? The Muppet motivational calendar. Beaker, hyperventilating, remembering his mom who gave him <laughs> his first paper bag. Yep. So every time he hyperventilates, he's this remembered. Is, this to, is much more touching than I expected it to be. Yeah, this, this is almost... A motivational fit? Poster. Yeah, no, this is way better than what I so did. So before I ruin it, I'm just going to write my name. Yep. And age. Next time I need to make it harder on you, there needs to be like 16 commas in my motivational <laughs> AI chosen. Yeah, co commas always make it longer because it means you had to draw multiple I might things. just have to print that one out and stick it, <laughs> give it to my mom for Mother's Day next year. Mm-hmm. You're like, you know what? Every time I'm hyperventilating, I remember <laughs> to be loved because, by you. Because of you. <laughs> yeah. Good job, yep. Benj. Thank you. Good job. You should be proud of this one.
Yeah, it's, uh, it's. I don't usually it's end. It's definitely not the it's worst not, one I've drawn. I have to like lay on the praise to right now. <laughs> I don't usually get to. I don't usually get to offer any amount of praise. No, there's not too much praising going on. I mean, in this, there's not. In our there's show. not really reason to praise this. Like, no one <laughs> at home is going to be like, "Wow, that's actually great." They're going to be like, "Why is there yeah. a sock puppet? Why doesn't Beaker <laughs> have a shirt on when he's hyperventilating? Because he clearly doesn't." And... I mean, the best part is definitely the words that were typed for us. Mm, yeah, definitely the best part. Mm-hmm. No mistakes there. I don't think we yeah. checked our spelling right. Hypervent. Yep, we're good. <laughs> you know, another thing that we're poor at is uh, getting our videos out on time. Yeah, apparently we we have to apologize because for the first time ever, we have let you, the fans down Mm -hmm. we didn't release our video on sunday like we attempt to do every week we were too busy celebrating me turning 29 Mm -hmm. so instead it's out on monday we know you're disappointed we get it the the half of a half of a dozen of you that will watch this Mm -hmm. thank you for sticking with us and uh we'll see you next time We, we we promise to try to get it out on time next time on time until then bye adios as always we're surprised you made it this far into our video there's no way we could possibly ask you to subscribe to this atrocity so we won't we would say share it with your friends but it's probably better for wasting your enemies time we're probably not going to get any better but we will keep drawing see you next time